Before it was tragic, really. So I was strolling along in the woods, admiring the flowers and the butterflies, when all of a sudden I saw this girl, and I thought, right, and I ran after the girl, and I catched the girl, and I stuffed her in a bag, and then I ran home. <laughs> When I got home, <laughs> I made the girl my slave. I said to her, you got to clean my ass. you got to cook my dinner. Where's my dinner? <laughs> and since then, that girl, she's been a slave to me. <laughs> so, you remember that bear. You remember what he did to the girl. But I promised Will. I tell him what happens at the end of the story. So, the poor girl, she was cleaning all the time, cooking the bear's dinner, teaching the bear how to look after himself, which he didn't know. But every day, she used to say to the bear, 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 please bear, can I go back to Grandad's house? You know, I'll, I'll, there's nothing else for me to do. Please let me go back to Grandad's house. And the bear said, no, no, you can't go back to Grandad's house. No, no, you can't stay here with me because you're my slave and you're, you, you're cleaning everything up and all that. And you're making me dinner and it's really nice and everything. And you're teaching me how to wash because I, I, I didn't know how to wash before she came along. I didn't know how to look after myself. But now, look at my fur. It's so smooth and silky. So you can't go to Granddad's house. You can't. Well, that poor girl, how was she going to escape from the bear? And one day, she had a plan. Well, she went to the bear and she said, Bear, bear, can I go? No, you can't go to Granddad's house. You can't go. Stop asking. Stop asking. All right, Bear, but if I can't go to Granddad's house, what if I made some cakes and you brought the cakes to Granddad's because Granddad, he misses me so much. Well, you, you want me to bring cakes to Granddad's house? Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll, 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 I'll do that, I'll do that. Okay, okay, Bear, <clears throat> the cakes will be in the kitchen in a basket. And you bring them to Grandad's house. But you're not allowed to eat any. Of course you won't eat any. What do you think I am, yeah? I wouldn't eat no cakes. Well, you can't eat any. I will be on the roof and I will be watching you. Now, go and have your sleep and I'll make the cakes. Yeah, uh, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll go and have my sleep. I like having a sleep in the middle of the day because I feel much better afterwards. <laughs> bear he went to his bedroom and then the girl began to prepare her escape she went outside she got a ladder she put the ladder up to the roof she began to climb <laughs> she got to the chimney she held on to the chimney and then she took off her red coat put it round the chimney and do you remember that mop in the first story that she had to clean the house with well the head of that mop was black with dirt from the bear's floor it was the same color as her hair so she put the mop inside the coat and tied them both together with rope. and then she went down the ladder and she went into the kitchen and she began to make the cakes
she made a hundred cakes. And the cakes were gorgeous, the cakes were beautiful. And every cake had a different colour icing on top of it. Then she got the basket and she put all of the cakes into the basket. They all fitted. But then she took all the cakes out of the basket. She put ten cakes inside a cupboard. She got into the basket and she covered herself with cakes. And she waited there as the smell of the cakes came up out of the kitchen into the bear's bedroom. And the bear woke up. Oh, oh, yes. oh I said, oh, I smell of the cakes. Oh, yeah, that's what I've got to do. I've got to take the cakes, then the grand test. That's what I've got to do. And, and I'll do that. Uh, well, she said, oh, oh, it's in the kitchen. He went into the kitchen. He saw the basket of cakes. Oh, they look really nice. He picked up the basket. Oh, they're a bit heavy. Um, might be like rock cakes. The girl was inside the basket. And she took. he took the basket outside. Right. He looked up on the roof. He saw the red coat. Hey, hey, girl, girl, I'm just off now. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get that ass. And I'm going to get to get it. some of these cakes. All right, I'm doing a good turn. And the girl in the basket said, Don't eat any of the cakes. Of course I won't eat any of the cakes. What do you think I am, man? Of course, yeah. You've got to trust people. The bear turned and began to run through the forest to Grandad's house. <laughs> but he stopped because the smell of the cakes came up through the woods into his nostrils and he thought, Oh, those cakes, they smell so nice. But the girl, she's still on the roof. But she's a long way away. She can't see through trees. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to have one cake. That's all, just one cake, just one cake. No, no, just one, just one cake. Granddad's not going to miss one cake. Right, which cake shall I? Oh, I'm going to... No, I won't have you. No, I won't have you. Oh, I'm going to have... No, 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 I'm not going to have that. No, no, no. I'm, oh, yeah, that yellow. I, I'm, I don't like yellow. The, oh, the green, I've got you. I'm going to have you. Yeah, now listen. Now listen, Cake. I'm going to have you. Right, it's a nice, shiny, sunny day. It's going to get very dark for you in a minute when you go down my gullet. So, well, listen, I'm going to have you and... I'm going to have you. Yeah, yeah, I'll just two, two, that's all. Just two. We're three, because I don't like the number two. I don't like it. I'll have that one as well. You've got three cakes. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to throw each one of you up in the air and then open my mouth and catch you. Already. One, two, three. <laughs> he opened his mouth, but the girl in the basket said, Don't eat any of the cakes! Ah! All the cakes fell down on the bear. Gosh, that girl's good, got good eyes. No, I'm not eating the cakes. I'm not eating the cakes. I'm not eating the cakes. I'm just smelling the cakes. That's all. I'm just smelling them. Gosh, that girl's got good eyes. She could see me. Well, I'm going to run deeper in the woods and I'm going to have one of them cakes. So, he grabbed the basket and he ran. Now in the middle of the woods, oh, I can't see my ass. I can't see the red coat. See, if I can't see the girl, she can't see me. So now I'm going to have some more cakes, as many as I want. I'm going to have this one. 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 Oh, oh, sorry. You look very lonely. So I'm going to have you as well. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to throw them up, I'm going to squash them, squash all the cakes, squash them, squash them. So now, they're like a burger. Oh, and I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat, nothing you 
look at their bang. He opened his mouth, and the girl in the basket said, I can see you! Oh, what? Your basket! <laughs> she died! Did you? The girl can see me. I'm not to them. Wherever you are, I'm not eating the cakes. I'm not. I'm, I'm just testing them. That's why I'm, I'm quality control for Glendon. Oh, blimey. That girl can see everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give these cakes to Glendon. Then I'm going to go back to my ass and I'm going to say, Oi, you girl, you're my slave. Make me loads of cakes. I can do that. <laughs> So then, the bear grabbed the basket, ran all the way to Grandad's house. <laughs> he got to Grandad's house. He said, what? I'm going to knock on the door. <laughs> Grandad's going to come out, right? He's not expecting a bear. I'm just going to go, bah. <laughs> I'll scare the old man and then give him the cakes. But there's one thing a bear doesn't like, and that's a barking dog. So when the bear knocked on the door and waited for Grandad, a dog in a nearby farm started to bark. Oh, 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 said the bear. Oh, don't like that. I oh, don't like that. I oh, don't like that at all. And he turned and he ran. He ran. Oh. Grandad opened the door. Uh, where's my little girl? My beautiful little girl. She disappeared in the woods. I haven't found it. Oh, look. There's a basket of cakes. And they smell like the cakes I taught the girl to bake. They're from her. My little girl. My little girl. Grandad picked up the basket. Oh, it's very heavy. It must be rock cakes. Oh, he put the basket on the table. My little girl. I love her so much. I just ate these cakes out. I love her so much. He uncovered the girl's face and the girl jumped up and said, Grandad! Oh, my girl! My girl! My girl! And Grandad held his granddaughter and the girl held Grandad and the girl said, Oh, Grandad, I promise you, I'll never go in the woods again unless there's something really really interesting in the woods. Well, what about the bear? The bear ran back to his house. <laughs> he looked up on the roof. Oi! <laughs> Girl! Guess what? I've brought the cakes to Grandad. I said I brought the cakes to Grandad. Aren't you going to say nothing? It's going to say nothing. It's polite to say thank you, you know. Aren't you going to say thank you? Blimey. Why? You need some manners, girl. Do you want me to come up there? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Right. I'm coming up there. And you're not to be spiteful. The bear got the ladder. Put the ladder up to the roof. <laughs> to the roof. He balanced. <laughs> he got to the chimney. Now I told you, girl, you've got to say fake. He reached the coat. He grabbed the coat. The coat was empty. The mop fell down. The rope untied. And the bear realised. Oh, oh, she's escaped. <laughs> she left me. The cows left me. The bear went down the ladder. <laughs> he walked into his ass. 
Look at my hands. It's so clean and shiny. Not a bit of speck of dust. How am I going to keep it clean and shiny? I don't know how to clean. I can still smell a beautiful stew. How am I going to cook? I can't cook. I learned last week. And look at my lovely fur, and I can wash now and look after myself. How am I gonna wash and look after myself when she's not here? The bear went into the kitchen, weeping, and as he did so, the cupboard door opened, and he looked. Oh, look! There's ten cakes! The girl left me ten cakes! And I think that means... <laughs> She loved me really. <laughs> now, my dear friends, that is the end of the story. Thanks for listening. Will, do you have anything to say about the music? Well, I created a couple of themes for that story, Bill, which you probably noticed. We have the girls' theme. Uh, which I wanted to be quite cheerful and light. Um, and that we also had another theme. Do you know what it was for? That's right, it was for the cakes, and I thought, well, cakes, it's always luscious to eat a cake, and perhaps even nicer to smell the cake when it's baking, so I wanted something really lush like this. one other sound which everybody knows from that song, that story, because it was in the first part as well. The bear, he's a bit of a bully and he bowls around the woods, crashing around, making lots of noise no doubt, so we've got this noisy sound for him. Which I thought suited the big bully bear. That was great, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you, Will. Well, you. it's goodbye from me, the storyteller. Goodbye. And goodbye from me, the music teacher. Bye. Bye.